for the longest time, my father always got me a bunch of, like, kind of gifts that were kind of junk to me. Like, for instance, he'd give me, like, a hoodie or something like that. It's like, really? Thanks, I guess. But I finally convinced him into getting me old junky tools. And it's far cheaper, and it's far nicer. He recently got these for my birthday. My birthday is actually in a few months, but he just gave it to me now because I don't know if I'll be back on my birthday. Well, anyway, I'm pretty happy with these. This is like a really nice birthday present. So, let's do a video about them. This is an S wrench, and I really love it. It's a really nice little wrench. I like the feel of it. I think he said it was about $9. Usually these are about $9, which is not bad at all. On the side of the S wrench, it says, The Erie Tool Works, Erie, Philadelphia, USA. And each part is marked second. So evidently they were hand machined, or at least they were fitted to be together, and they kind of were meant to be together, so that's kind of cool. Looks like you can unscrew this. Ah, there we go. Oh, is that a mark inside there? That's a weird mark. That's a very weird mark indeed. It's a four. Looks like a... Yeah, that's weird. This is a really cool wrench. I'm really happy with this. So this slots through there. It goes into there. Just kind of crunches down a little bit. Likewise, we can put that through there. Stuff that through there. It's a really smooth action. I really like that. You know, I wonder if I could take this and if I could cut more teeth on here to make it have a wider opening. Also, to where I, I mean, I guess that would make it to where I could accidentally run it off the end, but oh well. Oh, did I do something? Might have fucked it up. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Okay, so evidently these have like a weird teeth to them. Yeah, they do. Huh, well look at that. That's kind of interesting. I did not notice that the first time. That is actually pretty nifty. I like that. I like the curved ham handle. The curved handle just makes it look like you can reach around stuff really well. That's definitely a wrench to remember. Unfortunately, I could not find much about the Erie Tool Works. Not much, in, not much at all, really. It looks like they made some vices, though. So, they had some vices that were made in the 1940s and 50s. So, that's kind of interesting. Although, this looks a little bit older. Maybe 30s or 40s. Not really sure, though. And then we have this. An Armstrong number SAB-51 with the Armstrong logo in it. This is a ratchet wrench. A ratchet socket wrench, actually. I 
actually did find some information about this. This looks like it was actually a company that's still around. Hmm. Looks like they made mostly for military use products. And I think I heard a couple times saying that th these were used on like um, airplanes for backup, like the hand crank for landing gear. Like you just have have this wrench pop on there. I don't know. That might be that might be accurate. It might not be. It just some somebody said that on the internet. I can't really find any th any listings of this. I know you guys will probably find a bunch of stuff about it. So be sure to tell me anything that you find in the description below because pretty much I assume that even if I don't know something it's always best to look in the comment section below because somebody's gonna probably upload something or post something up, post a link to some website that'll show a bunch of cool stuff like an ad or something like that with a date and stuff like that that'd be kind of cool oh well I say maybe we can find more information by opening this up oh look at that it worked It's coming. Wow, look at that. That's so simple. Without having this center pin in here to hold this in, it's maybe not working so well, but oh well. It's still working though, so it's good. Well, you get the idea. See, so, yeah, that's really cool. Let's put it down into here. These springs look really nice. Look in nice condition, and that's really lucky too because these springs could probably easily rust away. Leave this in a bucket of water for like even two nights, and that's probably gone. Okay, I'm maybe exaggerating, but you know who knows? Because these are actually really nice quality springs. At least they're in really nice condition springs. That's what I mean. Huh. Interesting. It looks like this was originally orange, not like it's an aftermarket color. I've seen some pictures of some like military green ones. But yeah, this one looks like it's orange. That could be an indication of what purpose it used. Like maybe it was like. Because it doesn't look like or Armstrong sold to like in stores and stuff like that to like the general public. It looks like they sold mostly to the military and to large industrial stuff. So maybe orange was like. Whatever orange is usually associated with, like high, high, well, probably not high, high voltage or high current back then, but who knows? That is a really, man, that is really tough. Let's see if it even works anymore. Oh yeah, it's just really stiff. Makes sense though, it's for a socket. That was really stiff. I wonder how they got this together. Hmm. I was thinking that was some kind of like connector on there. Maybe they just sit it in there and stamp that. Maybe that's just stamped in. Like it looks, it looks like there's like a little die that goes around that. And makes it all like grab around the the bearing. That's pretty interesting. I'm really happy that no like mysterious springs bounced out really far when I opened this up. I was afraid that I'd lose some parts, but it's all really nice. I like this. It's a really really elegant design, you know. And just to put it back together, you can um, like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa, you can actually change whatever you want it. You can you can flip this around. What? That's awesome. I think it's meant to be like that. Yep, like that. Whoops. 
Oh, I see. So these actually have like a little indentation in them that they fit into the base here. I'm liking this design quite a bit. This is really it's gonna last a long time as long as you don't let it rust too much. Man, this, en this engineering is really wonderful. I may adjust, like, well, not adjust. I mean, I, I may go back through and like lubricate this sometime. Pretty like a, another video of a restoring stuff. Whoops. Because this is really stiff here. Yeah, it's just a little stiff. I should probably take this open and fix it up sometime. It'd be pretty cool. But for now, I don't have enough time because this is my last like work day or uh, last weekday of my vacation, and tomorrow Saturday, and I'm just gonna lounge around, and look at my wrenches and stuff like that. Well, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.